Hi, I am Dr. Dharma Chaudhary. I am a hematologist by my qualification and currently working as Director Blood and Marrow Transplant at BLK Supersmithi Hospital, New Delhi, India. Today, I am going to talk about acute leukemia. What is this? How it's developed? What are the symptoms? How to diagnose and treatment? Acute leukemia usually happens without any reason, what we call mutation in our genes. It often precipitates in the like war zone by radiation exposure, but these days these are less. Acute leukemia are two types, acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia. What happens in acute leukemia is our bone marrow getting replaced by abnormal immature cells which are not functioning properly that lead to replacing other normal blood forming tissue like red cell and platelet eventually leads to anemia like low hemoglobin and low platelet and these cells the, the fall in hemoglobin and platelet can lead to weakness the which most often patient complain bleeding or persistent fever sometimes because of this accumulation in the bones the bad cells cause lot of bony pain joint pain in child children how to diagnose if you getting any symptom like this should consult your doctor and you can do initial basic hematological investigation like hemogram and peripheral blood film examination can tell you whether your blood is having any immature looking cells they are not normal functioning and if you notice that then they should be subjected without any delay to bone marrow aspiration and biopsy along with molecular and cytogenic tests and these tests not only classify leukemia as likely but they can also tell the patient what specific treatment one can get because there are so many targeted therapies so many like if m3 leukemia if you give atra one drug which directly act on genes or there are so many fit3 inhibitor which can directly target these leukemic clone and lead to higher cure rate and they these markers can also tell you how aggressively one treat if this patient require upfront allergenic transplant which is only cure for high risk patients if you notice leukemia you should be getting chemotherapy as emergency as one can reach to the doctor if we treat leukemia properly then almost around 70 to 80% of leukemia can get cured you know like cancer the people feel that blood cancer means the death certificate is ideally not the blood cancer only get cure the many solid cancer they don't get cure blood cancer get cure and this very good example like pediatric acute lymphoblastic leukemia pediatric all where chemotherapy alone can cure more than 90% of children and they lead normal life in future another leukemia apm i was saying give arsenic and atrox some targeted treatment and more than 90% of patient can get cure you don't need too much of chemotherapy too much of transplant for this patient so identification early identification and proper treatment is must we at blk did a lot many leukemia in our hematology program and we get patient not only from india but from various sa countries africa cis middle east uae and sometimes the as far from the fiji island if you have any query you can connect with us through your reports we can analyze them and we can communicate further and come up with the best possible opinion for you remember we can help you anytime to get rid of
of leukemia which have cure believe in you you will not be on lost side if you treat properly leukemia you will win thank you